Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. It can be very difficult to debug programs, so I thought I would show you the techniques I use and the techniques that are available to us in the Arduino IDE. To begin with, there's a simple example that you'll find in my GitHub using the tools available, one of which is Arduino that gives you the build state. The file that has currently been compiled, its location, the date of the compilation, time of compilation. So as I go down, I highlight each one. The line that is currently being executed, line 7, line 7. Then it goes down to the loop section. So it's finished setup, now down to loop. The line number is 11. And yes, it reports it's at the line 11. Then it calls a function which I've written for the nth root of a number. And it gets down to line 23 and prints out the function name, nth root. Then it prints out the line number, 24. So I know it's got that far in the program. Then there are a couple of other minor functions called counter that you can increment as you go around an iteration. And indeed, that's what it does there, highlighted. Then it comes back and prints the answer. The third root of 27 is 3. Then it prints the line number again. Now we're at line 14. Yes, line 14. Then it calls the nth root again, back down to line 24, and 0, 1, 2. So there are a couple of approaches you can use. You can simply augment your programs with lots of serial print statements. Here I've just printed uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4, so that in the serial port I can follow the program flow. I use asterisk to highlight the output, because if you've got a lot of numerical output, and you print one, two, three, and four, it gets lost. So adding in the asterisk or some other character highlights the diagnostic print. So using this technique is, is quite easy to uh, follow the program flow. And if it's a numerical, you should see it counting up. As a slightly improved approach to the simple approach, as I called it, you can actually print out the function names of where you are in the program. So serial print, starting setup, finish setup. I find this approach actually quite useful because I, then I know which function it's in. It started the setup, it finished the setup, it started the main section, it finished the main section. Similarly, in any of your sub functions, subroutines you can do the same and then you can see the program flowing as you expect it to or as it's designated by the uh, program structure so debugging code is not new it's been around the need to debug code has been around for a long time so these are some of the functions that are predefined in the arduino ide arduino which is the current ide build state Zero print line, so it's double underscore line, double underscore displays the sketch line number, so it tells you in the serial port where you are in the program. So double underscore function, double underscore is the function that's been called. A counter is an incremental counter that gets reset every time you enter a function. So so if you're in a function, it'll start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you, call, if you come back to your main routine and call a function again, it'll get reset to 0. Um, date is the date of compilation. Time, time of compilation. File, the, uh, the file name used, the sketch file name used. Actually, because it embeds that into the, uh, into the code, it's a handy a memoir to what program was actually compiled in your uh, in your sketch. So here I am now using some of those more advanced functions to debug a program. It's a simple program. It sets set up is set up the serial port. Tell me what the file name is, what the function is, where the line is, where it finishes setup, 
and then for the main loop tell me what the function is the line number and the counter and you can see that it displays a file name or and all the requisite um, lines and function names as they get called So debugging your code can be quite simple and using a variety of techniques, either a very simple approach or some more advanced approaches. It should enable you to get to the problem area very, very quickly as you follow the program flow. And you can use those tools that are available to you to help you home in on the problem area. And to get you going, I've put two examples in the uh, in my GitHub repository, and uh, I hope you enjoy using them. And I hope they speed up your error detecting and correcting uh, of your code. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 